United States uh, right now. So what is it? Um, ADHD is a complicated disorder. It affects all different systems. And it's a spectrum disorder um, involving the cerebellum, the basal ganglia, the thalamus, and the prefrontal cortex. Um, so there's three types. And those are inattentive, which is your classic ADHD. There's hyperactive, impulsive, and then there's a mix of the two. And I don't know, he didn't really go over what the number one of those three were, but um, some of the risk factors include uh, being male. It's going to be more of an epigenic, not a genetic predispos predisposition. So it's not passed down by families. Um, maternal smoking and alcohol consumption will increase the odds of getting it. And uh, toxemia during birth, so not having oxygen, basically. Um, the seminar kind of stressed uh, primitive reflexes. So these are going to be inhibited with movement. So if you, have a, if you have a kid that is not moving, they're more likely to have these primitive reflexes. Um, and this also kind of will transfer over to adults. So, you know, you're in clinic or you're at, you know, in, your, in work or whatever, and you can test these on adults as well as the children. And you're going to find that between like 20, 10 to 20% of the population have these. Um, so we're going to kind of go through some of these primitive reflexes. I think that would be the best thing to do. So, um, and then we'll kind of bring it back and talk about some more ADHD stuff. So the first one is, uh, the moral reflex. Do you guys, is, is everyone familiar with that one or no, you guys aren't. Okay. So that's the starter reflex in adults. So Flo, you want to, you want to come up for this one? <laughs> All right, so here's what you're going to do. So um, for adults, you're going to have, you're bringing the arms in, the head's going to go back, the patient's going to close our eyes. Okay. And you want to be careful um, when you're doing this. You want to make sure you're behind the patient in case they actually have this reflex. A positive is the patient is literally going to pass, not pass out, but they're going to fall over. So you need to catch them. <laughs> okay. okay, so put your head back on and eyes closed. Okay, so he's negative, he doesn't have it, awesome. So yeah, so, yeah literally the positive, we, we saw it at the module, this lady comes up and I'd never seen it, so I was pretty surprised. He claps, she falls right over, it was pretty sweet. Uh, I mean, honestly, it really was. Not <laughs> yeah, not hurt. Um, so the next one is the spinal gallant reflex. So um, can you get on all fours on some table point? <clears throat> so for this one, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to... I'm not putting this on. So what you're going to do is you're going to expose the back. Uh, you can use anything like you know the edge of the reflex hammer, anything like a pen cap, your finger, and basically, what you're going to do is you're going to, got that. You're basically going to be stroking up the spine on both sides. So again, he's negative, but what you're looking for is you're going to have like a flexion of the trunk, and also the patient's arm may like kind of contract or flex inward. So um, why don't we actually like do this on people? Like, why don't you guys like split up into groups and we'll watch you do this on each other? And if anyone has a positive, let's bring them up and show everybody the positive yeah. ring. Let's do it. All right. You guys, I'm saying, but watch the trunk. Okay, I can't. No, you're, not, you're, not it. <laughs> you're not doing it. Okay, you're not doing it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Positive. So yeah, that's a very slight positive, basically. So yeah, we're yeah. also some. The other, the other thing is that sometimes the arm will start kind of shaking and flexing. Can you do it like real? Firm on that side, yeah. Like okay, yeah. Back. So, all right. So there you go. There's a positive. I bet, I bet I'm positive. Cool. Yeah. All right. So there's a few. There's a few more of these guys. Um, Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, yeah. 
All right, guys, so the next one is the asymmetrical tonic neck reflex. So with this one, you're going to have the patient put their arms out in front of them, and the uh, doctor is going to, so go ahead and close your eyes, and the doctor is actually going to rotate the head on one side, and what you're looking for on this is you're looking for the arms to move towards the side of head rotation, but you also have to be careful that there's going to be some they're, the move, they're gonna move a little bit, right? But it's you're looking for a major, major movement, basically. So yeah. So go ahead and close your eyes again. And you can do it a couple times to take out postural sway and stuff. So he doesn't really look like he's got it. Let's go to the other side. So he moved. You can see he moved, but that was more postural. Okay. Which one is this one? Asymmetrical tonic neck reflex. All right. So then. Or no, you're looking for literally, the, literally like the arms to go boom, like that, towards the side. So you rotate the head, like this, they're going to kind of move like that. Yeah, but that rotation of the curve starts here, right? Yeah. 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 Or is that just lateral lesion or top lateral lesion? I think it's ipsy. I'll have to double check on that. Um, all right, one, one more. Uh, the next one is going to be the tonic labyrinthine reflex. So this one's a lot like the Romberg's uh, test, but instead you're actually going to look for anterior posterior sway as opposed to anterior and side to side and posterior. So, um, so for this one, Blair, we're going to have you uh, feet together, hands at your side. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to bring your chin to your chest. Other way. Yeah. So he's. He's, he's good. Okay, go ahead and bring it all the way back. Eyes closed. Yeah, a tiny bit, but not, not much. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so say you get these positives on your patients. Um, there's a couple uh, ways to rehab them that we went over. The first one is the, like a snow angel. You all remember being doing a snow angel when you were kids? So literally you have a patient, um, so you're literally Snow angel. Yeah, so, so the key to this one, though, is doing it extremely, extremely slow. Um, when they were, yeah, just like that. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this can, this can actually, like, help with a few different ones. Um, yeah, so literally have the patient do it as slow as possible. And then, uh, go ahead and flip over real quick. The next one is a, this is kind of like a, to help with the like cross crawl type stuff. So bring your leg, I'm gonna like flex it up like this. Like army crawl. Yeah, army crawl, exactly. Like a wizard one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this one, um, I have an injection in there. Sexy yeah, you're, you're trying to do cross crawl, so you're gonna you're gonna reach up with one as you um, bring the one leg up. So you're just gonna kind of army crawl like that. Right. So, so it's yeah. I guess it would be bring yeah. that arm up, yeah. and then you're gonna bring this leg up at the same time. Okay. Well, I think, and then the other one back. Opposite. It's opposite arm that comes up. Okay. Yeah. Because so so you're trying to you're trying to coordinate those cross crawl. Yeah, the army crawl like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Think just think about a baby crawling on the floor. Yeah, okay. uh, and again, again, this one should be done pretty slowly. Yeah, have them do it real slow. Yeah, have them so drag along the ground. Yeah, yeah, start over. Okay. Yeah, now slow. Slow that way. Bring your arm up. Yeah. <laughs> My nephew had to do that. He couldn't do it at all. So had him do it Oh, you're not looking for anything. Wow. This is the rehab portion. Oh, and he's okay. like, he never crawled when he was when he was little. No. He just <laughs> get on his butt, and he's been having all sorts of weird like hallucinations and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. he's been doing lizard yeah. and whatever, <laughs> and uh, he's like he got completely back to like being semi-normal. That's crazy. But then he stopped. <laughs> That's and what that happens. All right. So and then we'll just go over. There's two more of these. Uh, you've got the Babinski reflex, which I think most people know. How to do just like this, and you're looking for the fingers. And grasp. So, why does that happen again? It's, it's, it's so, yeah, these are all primitive reflexes. So, like when you're when you're a baby, you're gonna have like things like the rooting and the sucking reflex. Um, 
these are all like survival mechanisms in one sense, and they're just not inhibited in uh, in these children or in the adults. 